In this lecture, we will provide a brief overview of the topics we expect to cover in our cardiology chapter on heart failure. Welcome to our cardiology chapter on heart failure. This will be a great chapter as we review a number of different lessons related to heart failure. I wanted to give you an overview of what you can expect in this chapter. Here you can see a list of the topics we will cover, and there may also be additional lessons added as deemed necessary. I may also add some of our innovative research we are doing here at Mayo Clinic with artificial intelligence in this field. Anyways, let's take a quick look at what we'll cover in this chapter. So here are the topics here. Start, we'll, we'll first start at, by looking at the pathophysiology of heart failure, okay? Looking at two different processes, both systolic and diastolic heart failure, okay? So preserved or reduced ejection fraction. We'll look at screening and prevention diagnosis and evaluation, the classification, both the ACC AHA uh, stages and the NYHA classification. We'll look at uh, medical therapy, both for systolic and diastolic heart failure, device therapy for heart failure, chronic heart failure assessing, so how to assess what to do in that, uh, those cases, inpatient management of heart failure, advanced refractory heart failure, and then a number of different uh, clinical uh, areas where we can see heart failure, such as acute myocarditis, giant cell myocarditis, tachycardia mediated cardiomyopathy, and Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. So we'll go through all these different ones, hopefully giving a broad uh, coverage of what you can expect in this topic, and then you can use this as a branch and springboard to then go in and read through your different textbooks and uh, go through there, okay? So hopefully um, you'll enjoy this chapter. And I just wanted to give a brief overview and introduction to this chapter on heart failure. I really hope you enjoy it and find it helpful.